So I've been hearing some people talk about a billion lines versus Pokemon. Now I know this isn't the type of video I normally make, but I thought it'd be a fun change. If you like this type of video, let me know. The next video will most likely be on Captain America and the Winter Soldier, so if that's something you'll be interested in, I'll either upload next week, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Now that my shameless plug has been added, let's get to the actual video. So the first rule is, none of the Pokemon have items, so no Pokemon can Mega Evolve except Rayquaza, or use Z-Moves. And none of you Pokemon Showdown guys can use an extremely broken team. They can't Dynamax because they are fighting in Ohio, not the Gala region. The Pokemon will be fighting in real time, not any turn-based stuff, because obviously the lines would destroy them if this was turn-based. I mean, they already do win, so, you know, but like, let's just pretend to give the other team a chance, guys. And this fight is decided by the last team stand. Number one, the math. Numbers are the real answer to who will win this fight. A billion is a huge number. Thank you, thank you, I'll be here all video. That is so huge, it's hard to even quantify. Which is why people are stupid and don't think the lions will win. There are 7.7 .7 billion people on Earth. One seventh of that is equal to the amount of lions fighting. Who would win in a fight of billion lions or humans? Lions, that's a different story for a different day. So now divide a billion by 932. That is 1,072,960 lions per Pokemon. Not to mention that Caterpies and Weedles aren't really going to stand a chance against one lion, let alone a million, so the number's a bit off. Number 2, the Pokedex. Now most people know Pokemon as this kid-friendly game. Oh, look at this little cute game. This is a game my children can enjoy. And yeah, animal abuse is all well and good, and I'm sure your kid will love it. But then you get to the Pokedex, and it's just... Where is the, the skull of its life, deceased mother? When the mother sees the, the back of her mega evolved child's head, it, it makes her each of them carry a mask that used to be its face when it was, human. Sometimes, when it was human. Sometimes they look at it and cry. Now to be fair, it can be proof that Pokedex entries are not at all accurate, but for this fight, they are all canon. Number one, Mag Cargo. This dude is two times hotter than the sun. So imagine if the sun just merged with the earth. Everyone would die. <laughs> Except, since we defined the rules as battle by last man standing, Mag Cargo would be closer to the Pokemon than it is with the Lions. So yes, while the Lions would die, they would be alive longer, if not slightly longer, than the Pokemon. Number 2, Hariyama. Now part of the reason I just picked this guy is because he's a funny name. He can clap so loud that it can stop a moving train. So it could be fair to say that they could stop a bunch of Lions. The friendly fire would kill a bunch of the Pokemon in the same area. Especially the bird ones who would just come crashing into the ground. <laughs> Number 3, Electrode and Voltorb. These guys explode with little to no warning. Even if they are just standing, the slightest thing triggers them. So imagine you see a billion lions. They are taking out at least 50 Pokemon. <laughs> Number 5, 4. I meant 4. Number 4. Number 4. Wyvatel. Now you might be saying, Zach, this is a giant bird. He should be able to take care of all of them. He can just fly. And while I would agree, a bunch of Pokemon are going to be using Spread Attack, so all the Electric-type Pokemon using Discharge, Wyvatel would at least get hit by one of them. Not to mention the Sun Explosion going on, or Hariyama clapping really loudly. This is Wyvatel. I would advise not getting killed by her. Her cocoon traps the souls of its victims. If he died, he would absorb the souls of all the Pokemon and Lions. A Pokemon sooner because they're closer. Number 5, Alakazam. Alakazam's IQ is 5,000. The highest recorded in human history was 228. So if he does the math and realizes that a billion is a pretty big number, trust me guys. So he's gonna spend the battle trying to convince the smarter Pokemon to leave, but they're gonna be too distracted by him talking and they're all just gonna die by the exploding sun or the exploding cocoon. Number three, friendly fire. I did touch on this slightly with the Wyvatel and Voltorb bit, but some Pokemon absolutely just hate each other. Groudon and Kyogre would be fighting spawning volcanoes and huge tides from the ocean, so Rayquaza is going to be dealing with that while the rest try to manage to fight the lions. Arthur's Dialga, and Palkia will have to do another exorcism on Giratina, that'll kill at least 100 Pokemon in the process. Wyvatel is going to see the deer trying to heal all the dead Pokemon because they suck and are getting eaten by lions, so the deer and bird will have to fight. Unless you're a legendary Pokemon, you are going to die in this cross fight. This isn't even mentioning Mad Cargo currently exploding from being 177% higher than the sun. And then when Wyvatel dies from all the stuff going on and starts absorbing everyone's soul. So in conclusion, are the Pokemon stronger than the lions? Yes. Are they smarter? Yes. Will they win? No. Will they lose because lions are better? Yes. They are just so destructive to the point where lions would only win due to everyone from Friendly Fire. The only way Pokemon would win is because of Krogum. I mean, just look at his walk, look how happy he is.